What's up? We're back here for our Sony reactions. This time we got a special guest. Um, it is actually, um, you know, Mr. Pringles. You can see he's the camera with us. I'm just kidding. It's just back <laughs> and eating. Um, yeah. So, um, Sony, they started off with PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, right? <coughs> Sony Smash Brothers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, was that what they started off with? Oh. No, they started off with a montage like they always do. Oh, yeah, that's right. But it was lag at first, so we didn't really get to see a lot of the montage. But they showed mostly everything you thought they would show, they showed PlayStation All Stars, Last of Us. Um, um, what was the show? Last of Us actually looks pretty damn sweet. We oh, finally, get, finally get some gameplay for that. And it's like a more mature Uncharted. The way I described it, I described it was Uncharted on the other. I, I described if it was Uncharted. If Uncharted was in the Apocalypse or something. Yeah. Or like an I Am Legend type of world. Yeah, almost. yeah, definitely. So it's like, it plays just like Uncharted, but with more of a scavenger type of feel to it. You've got to really conserve your ammo. You're actually, you can make different, you can make like Molotovs and stuff in the game instead of like, instead of like, you, instead of finding grenades and stuff. So, so I mean, it, it's pretty sweet. The game was sweet because I know like, <clears throat> there was the part where like, you can actually, because there's a lot of melee combat, just like in Uncharted. I, I, actually, I would, I would say there's, I would say there's more melee than there is in yeah, Uncharted. Yeah, definitely. Because like there's one part where like, which I thought was awesome, which you, you grab this guy at the neck and you're like, you're like, you're having a stranglehold. And a chokehold. Well, like yeah, yeah, a chokehold, and, and other other people are shooting you, so you're dragging him while he's choking while you're shooting other people, and I was like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. But yeah, Last of Us looks pretty damn sweet. Um, PlayStation All Stars. Once again, you know. No, it's 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 a Smash Bros. ripoff. You can't really deny it. And of course, okay, you know how Nintendo Smash Bros. Four they announced that it's going to be made simultaneously for Wii U and 3DS, and how they're going to link up and do crossplay and stuff. Now Sony is like, oh, PlayStation Plus is also going to be for Vita. No, you'll do crossplay. I'm like, really? They brought out like six people, like, and they were like, and like like four people were using like they had four people playing. So like two were using, I think. Two were using dual shocks, the other two were using were using Vitas, right? To play. Yeah. Yeah, and then so and so yeah, they were playing, they were showing it like with their specials. Which There's is three levels of specials. Yeah. So it's like it's like I mean it's pretty much just like the final smash from Smash Brothers, but it's a little bit more a little bit more depth added to it, I guess. But but like but like um but like but they aren't as effect as effective. Like a level one the level two, I guess, aren't as effective as level three, obviously. Yeah, they shot off. Um, and you still have to get them right on dot because they showed them do a match. You have to get them right on the dot, like, like, um, it's like in, in brawl. If you use, a, if you use like a, a final smash, most of the time you're guaranteed a kill unless it's a really, like, for most final smash, it's like okay, if if, if you get hit, if you get hit by uh by uh Mark's final smash, you're gonna die, and it's very hard to dodge like a final smash like that. Like in this game though, you have to get it right on the player. There was many times where they used level one, level two, and level three uh, um, specials, and they wouldn't get like they would only get like one kill, or they wouldn't get like any kills or something like that. I know the one person was using Fat Princess, and they kept using their their specials a lot, and they kept. There was a couple times where they didn't hit anyone. Um, Speaking yeah, of which, they, why don't you explain about the the characters they showed off for the game? Yeah, yeah. They announced they announced like um, they were like, oh yeah, there will have two characters that will be. That you can actually play as on the show floor, the new characters, and like they just they didn't show them in the actual game. It was right before they they stopped talking about PlayStation All Stars and moved on to the next game. It was um, you start hearing the familiar Uncharted music play, and then you start seeing the like you start seeing Nathan Drake, and it's like oh yeah, and then you start hearing then you start hearing the the the, the little sister from Bioshock, and you see the helmet of the guy of the big daddy from Bioshock, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. Which kind of confused me, because Bioshock never started on PlayStation. Bioshock, originally the first game, was 360 and PC, and then later it was ported to PS3. I mean, Bioshock 2 is going to be on, is, you know, but Bioshock 2 launched on all the systems at the same time, and then Bioshock Infinite is going to be on all the systems at the same time, but Bioshock never started on, on PlayStation, so that, that, that kind of confused me for a second, but... No, that's yeah, all. But, other characters were like Sweet Tooth, Fat Princess, Parappa the Rapper, all the ones we I was know happy about Parappa the Rapper because that was like one of the bigger like PlayStation 1 series. Yeah. And that was like the first like rhythm game, which was pretty much the predecessor to games like Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Yeah. 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 It's like it's like pretty much all the characters we knew about. Yeah. You got you got Kratos, you got a war, you got that one guy from Killzone. Um um, yeah, just you know, who was it? Sly Cooper. Sly, Sly Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. So we, all the characters we already knew about, 
And like I said, they had the Vita versions, and they, they didn't say a date, but they said once again, they once again they, they reconfirmed, you know, holiday 2012. So, um... Now, is there any characters that weren't announced that you want to see in the game? Crash Bandicoot. Oh. Agreed. Um, Jack and Daxter. Cole from Planet. Infamous, but we already know he's going to be in there, but basically because it's pretty much a given when you think about it. Plus, Cole's voice actor said he was doing work on PlayStation All-Stars, um, along with, along with, um, what's his name, Nolan North, I think is the guy who does Drake? Yes. It was him, and it was the guy who does Solid Snake. And we already got, and this was before any of them were announced, and we, we just got Nathan Drake announced. So, so I'm pretty sure that Nathan Drake was announced, and they are all, they were all doing their other uh, voice work. I'm pretty sure we're going to get Snake, um, and um, which, in my opinion, was a, was a big F you to Brawl players. But um, we're going to get Snake, and we'll probably get Cole. So Cole's a given. Um, um, I would love to see, like, I, th I think Crash and I think Spyro should both be in there, but those are 50-50 because of how they've grown over the years. And or how they've, fallen. How they've what? Or fallen, like Spyro has. Yeah, yeah, and it's just, but, yeah. And I think, I think, I think it's a 75% chance of us getting, um, like, Jack and Baxter. Um, yeah, like, J like Jack and Baxter characters and Ratchet and Clank characters. About a 75% chance. Um, okay, so moving like, on. Mike from Escape. There you go. Yeah, that would, that could be another one. Um... <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I would actually wouldn't mind seeing any characters. I think we should see characters from the Ico series, like from uh, from, from from Ico or Shadow of Class, or maybe maybe even Last Guardian. Which once again, speaking of Last Guardian, now I got to go on here. It's, it's been how many years, and there was no nothing at E3 about Last Guardian. Nothing, nothing. When are we gonna get that game? It's about damn time. We need Last Guardian. Come on, Last Guardian. That and Final Fantasy Versus 13, but that's Square Enix, so I'm not gonna bat. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain to Sony about that. But still, <laughs> Versus 13 and Last Guardian, those two, we need to come out. They've been developed for like five or six years now, going on like seven years, I think. So come on. Can we talk about Spellbook next? What? Oh yeah, they got this new thing coming out called Wonderbook. Oh yeah, Wonderbook. Why did you uh, say Spillbook? Why? Because there's a sp the book of spells. Oh, I thought book. you said Spill. It's this new thing that's gonna be with the PlayStation Move and PlayStation I. Basically, each game is gonna have its own book for these PlayStation Move games. Um, these these wonder book games, and um, basically it's gonna be, it's basically an augmented reality type of thing. Yeah. You see the book on the screen. And it's gonna have like things flying around. They use places to move and do stuff. Like there was one. What was the kids one that they showed? Um, uh, is that the dragons and stuff, or is that the Harry Potter one? No, they showed. I don't. They might. They might not have. Whoops. They might not have named it. They showed the kids one though. Yeah. Um, where they were just playing and stuff. But then they they talk about they partnered with J.K. Rowling to do um do uh this book of book of spells and it's based on the Harry Potter series like you do the Maglardi Ma Leviosa whatever I mean Wingardium Leviosa I can't, I can't do this I can't say the name but I'll, um they have like uh, books like that and there's like different dragons and stuff and you're like doing spells so you got you got to unlock a door so you got to look look at the spell book and then you got to like use a place to move to, like do like a lock thing or something. It's, I don't know, it looks like, I guess it looks it looks kind of interesting, but I don't think it'd be my cup of tea, personally. I would have to try it out, like, for what, when they first started, when they first came out and started talking about it, I thought it was just going to be one book that was going to be used, we used with all these games. But then when they started talking about the J.K. Rowling one, and it was a whole spell book, I was like, oh, each Wonder Book game is going to have its own book that comes with it. So, I would really have to try out other games, I guess, because the book of spells didn't really interest me. The demo was just... I, to be honest, the demo was really boring. Just watching was kind of boring to me. So I, it'd be something I would have to. I, I really like. I'm gonna be honest. It looks really boring. Like just to me. I mean, if I'm, I'm sure there's people who would like that, but me personally, it doesn't not look like my thing. It looks kind of boring. I would have. But I I would give it the benefit of the doubt though. And if I saw it like at a GameStop for like a demo, I don't know how they demo it. Maybe if they put like the book on a ring or something. But if they had it like a, de a demo station at a GameStop or Best Buy or something, I'd probably give it a try and I'd see if I wanted it or not. But other than that, I don't know. It, 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 it looks kind of boring, but it, but it's something new, so you know it's all it's all good. But um, what else did they what else did they show? I forgot what else they showed. Um, um, oh, God of War. Oh yeah, God of War Ascension. God of War Ascension. That looks badass. Oh my God, yeah. That looks. There's nothing really more to say other than that it looks badass. And he's just like. Especially when he fought the elephant guy, he that that like they like they were like they were talking like they were talking about on the PlayStation Network. He ripped that guy's brains. The brain, the elephant guy's brains were shredded. Uh -huh. That guy, he abused him. Oh my god, the demo for that just looked crazy. But God of War always is. So I mean, it, it looks like a fun game. Um, 
Assassin's Creed 3. They're making Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, I think, for the PlayStation Vita, yeah. which is going to be... Gonna ha they said it's the first one that's going to have a female antagonist. Yeah. And then they went on to show... What? Protagonist. protagonist? What did what I say? Antagonist. You said antagonist. Oh, I said antagonist. Oh, I meant to say protagonist. Yeah. But, um... So then Assassin's Creed 3, they showed the actual demo for the PlayStation 3 version. That looks pretty sweet. I've never been into Assassin's Creed too much, but I might actually get this one. It's set in the American Revolution this time around, and they showed, like... There's a huge weather. There's a huge weather system in the game, which is actually pretty sweet. So, like one second the skies could like you know be all clear and everything, but then the skies will slowly start to deteriorate and dark clouds will form and then like the waves will happen. It looks like an actual like you know ocean battle, you know, with like ocean storms and everything. Everything it, it just looks sweet. Meanwhile, you're using cannons and you're you're doing um you know they showed them with you know you know ship to ship, you know shooting off and those other ships coming from other directions. Then the very end of the demo was. Was you know they link the ships together you know you know with the with the with the I don't know what you call them the ropes. thing the yeah you know, the like the yeah the the sharp ropes or whatever to because they were gonna board them and they got they got bayonets and you know rifles and they got like axes and they they jumped right to board them and the demo demo ended there and that game looks pretty sweet um, real time weather system sounds what? just like Michigan weather it could be sunny and clear one day and then it can storm the next yeah exactly. but they didn't really talk about something else I was disappointed. Yeah, something I was disappointed about was, um, I don't think, they didn't show too many Vita games, did they? No. They talked about, said, oh yeah, we got like 60 titles coming or something. They didn't really talk about them. I don't think they did. They showed like a quick montage, but I was hoping we'd get more on, on Vita titles. That was something that I was disappointed about. Um, there was, oh, what about the PlayStation Plus stuff? Oh, yeah. No, the PlayStation Plus, they said that, okay, first off, first off, um, E3, because, you know, E3 is uh, Oprah now. Um, <laughs> remember a couple years ago when when Microsoft announced uh, the Xbox 360 Slim? They were like, oh yeah, everyone here in the audience gets a free Xbox 360 Slim. Well, and everyone in the audience, you know, for Sony's conference yesterday, was like, oh, everyone in here in the audience gets a, gets a year free of PlayStation Plus. We were like, what? But they had, but all throughout the year, I guess, for everyone who has PlayStation Plus, not just people on E3. I, every month there'll be, what, they said new full downloadable titles free, right? Mm -hmm. That you can download. And there are big games like Infamous and Little Big Planet so that you can download for free. They'll cycle out between the games or something. I was like, what the hell? I was like, that was that was, that was weird. It's I mean I mean yeah, I mean mem remember like I like I for those of you who know about the past PSN hacking and whatnot, how oh, I think Oh jeez, don't even remind us. Well, there is I I I I I encountered this unfortunately that thing. So they gave up the free year of PlayStation Plus, right? So, after it expired, there's a catch. You can't dump, you can't play your PSN stuff. You have to pay for it. Because I, I downloaded Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for P, from PSN, and uh, that was free for PSN users, I and mean, PS Plus, PlayStation Plus users. But once my thing expired from the free thing after the PSN hacking, I had to pay for it. So you have to keep your PS PlayStation Plus to be able to play those games for free. Otherwise, you have to pay the full price. That's so true. that's the catch. So it's lame, but whatever. Yeah. But, um, what else did they show? Did they show anything else? Um, um did they talk about Last of Us yet? Yeah, we talked about Last of Us. Um, I don't think there's anything much about it. Oh, the, um, the PlayStation Mobile. It seems like it seems like they're all doing this. Oh, yeah. um, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo—they're all doing this. Where they're, we're pretty much like PlayStation Mobile. Oh yeah, that was something big that we did to talk about. Well, they're still they still have their PS3 and their and their and the PS Vita, and that's still their main comp. That's still their main systems, and they're making games for them. They are going to be making PlayStation branded um, digital games on the side for like Androids and stuff like that. The, the PlayStation Suite. They're renaming it PlayStation Mobile. Because that way you can access your PlayStation mobile stuff from, uh, you know, <coughs> your PS3, your PS Vita, right. <coughs> your smartphones, your tablets, all that stuff. Um, and, uh, and um, yeah, they are making, they are making uh, digital games for, like, iPhones and Androids and stuff like that, alongside their PS3 and PS Vita games. So, so I mean, I guess that was interesting, but I, I've never been a big smartphone game person, so I'll stick to regular video games. But I guess it's interesting, but... Yeah, I don't think there's much more to talk about. I feel like I'm forgetting something, because it feels like we didn't talk about too much. I don't know. Sony, I will say, it wasn't as good as last year's, because last year's they showed a lot of stuff for the 
Vita for the PS3 and stuff, and, and they, they talked, they showed a lot of good stuff. Um, but this year did have some interesting stuff, like Last of Us, obviously. Um, I would give, like, I'd probably give Sony, like, probably a 6.5, maybe 7. I don't know. I forgot the rating I gave it last year, but, but yeah, I gave Microsoft, like, a 5 out of 10, and it was it was a little better than Microsoft's. Probably, like, a 6.5 out of 10, i probably. I just wish they would have shown more Vita games. I wish they would have, wouldn't have focused so much on the Wonder Book thing. Um, because, like, honestly, like, I, I mean, it's an interesting, like, interesting concept, but just, to me, it looked boring. So I wish they would have focused more on something else. But, but, yeah. For me, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. 12, there's PlayStation all Stars Battle Royale. There's Last of Us. There's... I might also try the one in the book. Like I, I, I'll try the demo, like, if, like he, he will. And, um... I don't know if I, Oh, I got a war. I have to get a war. Yeah. So, that's... Like, and, uh, so it's more games that I care about than Microsoft, actually. So, that's why I get seven out of ten. Well, to be honest, when I really think about it, Microsoft's conference had just as many games that I, that I liked out of Sony's, if not a little bit more. But the problem with it is, all the games that I like outside of Halo 4 and maybe that War of Gods game are all multi-platform. So I can get them on PS3 any True. True. So, True. I don't know. But yeah. Alright, stay tuned for our Nintendo reactions.